Greetings, YouTube. This is Yvette, and welcome to our channel where we're always fasting sometime during the month because we're seeking God to walk into our calling. We're taking authority over the enemy. We're taking our rightful place on earth, taking dominion over the earth like Jesus gave it back to us as kings and priests, expanding God's kingdom, and listen, not having no time for no kind of mess whatsoever. We are what I'm going to call untouchable. The enemy may act up around us, but none of this messes with, he, none, nothing he can do can mess up our temple, cause us to sin, cause us to get all upset because we know that God has a plan for our life and it all involves nothing but victory and multiplying our blessings. So as our, my church is going through and we're studying the book of Leviticus, listen, I'm coming to learn that Leviticus is not just a bunch of whole bunch of rules and things that the children of Israel had to do. It was God showing them the picture of heaven on earth and how in heaven, everything is perfect. And that's what the temple was all about and living holy and keeping things no dead. Anything could be in the temple, no sin in the temple. That's why he was so strict about everything because everything is perfect in heaven. And that's the picture of what we have here on earth and our bodies. Now the temple is no longer there, but we are the temple of God and we are to be holy and represent heaven on earth. Okay. So it's about transitioning ourselves to know who we are in God's kingdom. And I promise you, we don't know who we are because if you knew who you were, you would not be swayed by the enemy. And I am not swayed by him or bothered by him. But let's talk about this fast we just came off of. So turns out that for the first time in life, I did not do my fast the right way. And you guys know, I'm always talking about us cleaning ourselves out on our fast. I've never done a water fast. I thought for sure, you know, um, I could get this going and I wasn't really sweating nothing because I'm like, uh, but I did not do this right. I was trying to get 40 days in between um, Passover and Pentecost. And I ended up having to end my fast on the 24th day because literally my body was shutting down. So I had done too much to my body to the point where I was not being even able to function physically. I was being bedridden most of the day. I was feeling nauseated, things that start to happen once your body starts to shut down and you have blockage. So I was blocking my digestive system and I put it to sleep and in, in the wrong way. So I had to go to the doctor on Friday, you guys, and have to, had to have an urgent colonic session where they put water, um, kind of like a water enema up me. Uh, it's a tube that puts water inside of you through your um, colon. And then there's another tube that sucks all the stuff back out. I was so backed up and hardened that I have to do this twice a week now. So yes, my doctor did get on me about what I was doing. But here's the deal. I was um, so determined to make 40 days um, I even had made up in my mind, if they have to put me in a carrier and put me, take me to the hospital, I'm not going to break this fast. And I, cause I thought the enemy was messing with me and, you know, talking to me and trying to get me to stop because I was so determined. And it wasn't until my godmother contacted me and that was my sign. I said, God, this is my sign that I need to stop because I was getting to the point where I was literally going to check myself into emergency. So it's a good thing that I did stop and I had a talk with my daughter. And so I don't feel like um, it was a wasted fast because it accomplished what it needed to. I got a chance to go through the wilderness that I needed to be in where I felt like um, I needed to only put my faith and trust in God because there seeming, seemingly was nothing else around me. And so for that reason, I'm going to tell you, and it's a necessary place that you have to get to where you are, you're almost like you're seeking God, but you're not getting anything from him. You're not hearing from him. You know, you're not feeling the presence of the Holy Spirit very strong, you know, but God hasn't left you. He's saying that, yeah, how really badly do you want me? And are you going to hold on when you don't feel me? You know, are you still going to have faith and trust? And the answer is yes. Yes, I am. And when I came off the fast, of course, the enemy was working in other places in uh, with other people destroying some things. But you know what? I don't have time for that because God has a plan that's laid out for me to do some things. So I'm thankful for the fast. I finished it. Um, so in the future, you know, we'll continue to do some fasting and some praying about some stuff because, you know, we got a long ways to go, a long ways to go. And God is so uh, great and his ways are not our ways. His knowledge is so far above us. You guys, just to learn little tidbits about him, I am bless blessing him and thanking him just for that. And so... I know that um, 
I need to um, um, focus on getting myself healthy again. So as my digestive system is waking up, I also didn't wake it up the right way because I ate raw fruit and that's not was I, what I was supposed to be eating. Initially, I said I was going to make a soup. I should have boiled soup. So my doctor told me my tummy was not ready for raw fruits or raw vegetables, but I first needed to start with a soup. So some of us have talked about this because we did it wrong. We were having some problems on that water fast and what we needed to do. And so for those of you who are still fasting, you know, I'm rethinking my water fast because I was sharing with my daughter that. Water is not like it used to be back in the time of Jesus where you could actually get nutrients. I literally got to the point where it was hard for me to even swallow caplets, capsules or anything, like take my um, trace minerals when I was trying to make sure I had some minerals in my um, system. That was difficult. I got to the point where, you know, I, I really feel like body was shutting down, not even letting me hydrate. Like even though I had dry mouth and I wanted to drink, drink, drink water, I couldn't even get water into my system because I was literally shrinking the tummy to the point where it couldn't even really hold that much. So today I'm thankful and I'm feeling full. And But as I'm waking the body up, I mean, it's having some issues going to the restroom and trying to get things together because she also put me on a very strong probiotic because I just really wreaked too much havoc on my system. So um, I'm thankful to still be here. Um, but certainly, um, I have a different opinion about water fast. So who these people are who are saying they're doing them for 360 days, because I think somebody did 360 day or a year water fast, which is a huge lie. You did not do a water fast for a year. You did not. That is a huge lie. You die before then, because I'm telling you, it doesn't work that way. Mm -mm. For those of you who did that water fast, you know what I'm talking about. It pulls stuff out of your body. It detoxes you to the point where you almost get sick of the toxins because they're not releasing the right way. I now need to do a coffee enema to help my liver out because all those toxins were in my body and I, I wasn't doing the coffee enema. Okay, so I'm going to sign off and we'll be talking. And thank you, those of you who prayed for us. And um, certainly, I'm sorry I've been absent for a couple of days, but I've really been just trying to recuperate. And right now, I'm getting ready to um, probably get in bed because it's late. But, uh, and just kind of take it kind of easy because my doctor has me on a special diet for the next few days. And then I've got to start following her regimen, but it has to do a lot with just, you know, some, some fruits and some veggies and, and eating right. Okay. All right. I'm going to sign off and Lord bless you guys and talk at you later. Bye-bye.